So welcome everybody to the Vital Plus Fuji Future Beauty Zoom session with special guest speakers. Uh, and uh, just as a reminder, we hold these sessions every first Monday of each month at 1 p.m. And we, we have uh, uh, exciting and interesting sessions uh, uh, with really interesting speakers uh, that we scout out for you. Um, so before we get started, I just wanted to um, give a, a word of support to all the beauty salons in Victoria, who we have just heard that the lockdown will continue for another two weeks. And um, well, we're very sorry this is happening. So please keep safe. I guess that one way to keep your growth going uh, during these times is to invest in your own education. Uh, education is something that uh, you keep for life. Um, so I'm very, very happy to have the special guest speakers that we have for you today. I'm sure they will take you a step further in your never-ending educational journey. Uh, so we have a, a vice basin, him and uh, Ancha Basin, his wife, are the founders of uh, Plasma Blast Academy of Beauty Therapy. Now, what I love about them is that they have, like us, I guess, a passion for quality training and education with more than 30 years in formal education, including four master's uh, degree. And currently they're doing an MSc in dermatology. Their current studies have led them to epigenetics which is the topic um, of discussion today. Uh, so I can't wait to hear from it, from Thais uh, Basin and also uh, Dr. Elna Fury. Uh, Dr. Fury is a PhD qualified pharmacist with more than 15 years of experience in the pharmaceutical industry across the clinical research and medical affairs. Um, the therapeutic areas that uh, she has experience in include dermatology, but also rheumatology, respiratory, diabetes, urology, neuroscience, pain management, oncology, and HIV. God, Elna, my God. Um, but anyway, um, don't be alarmed, okay? Because uh, Dr. Fury has a passion to translate complex medical information into consumer-friendly information to ensure fair and balanced, evidence-based scientific information is community. So, shoot. <laughs> anyway, it's, it's a great honor to have you um, as our special guest speakers. Thank you so um, much. Uh, so, thank you for being with us. Um, so, Thais, please tell us, what is epigenetics all about and how, how can it help a beauty therapist? Thanks, Frank. Thanks for the, uh, the kind introduction. And welcome everyone to our webinar today. So as Frank has said, today we'll be looking at how epigenetic studies are changing the game when it comes to health. We'll talk about cell health as this is where it all starts. And then we'll talk about health more general as I think it's important to understand the connection between cell health and our general health. But we'll also talk about skin health more specifically. And we'll, we'll go through a few skin diseases, most common skin diseases like eczema, psoriasis, rosacea. We'll talk about the aging skin. I think this is something we can all relate to. Uh, before we start, let me just quickly check. Can you all hear me well? Can you see me well? Just give me some indication. All right, yes, fantastic. I hear you loud and clear. And uh, if you want to say, just put a Y in the chat. Yeah, that's great. I'm getting lots of why, so um, that's good. good. All right, fantastic. So as part of our studies in dermatology, we came across epigenetics, which covers cell health and our nutrition and lifestyle choices have a direct impact on our health at a cellular level. Now, the more and the deeper we looked at this, we saw how fascinating this is for skin health, but perhaps today, more importantly, how relevant it is for the world we're living in, this world trying to recover from a coronavirus pandemic. 
So before we go into that, let me quickly just mention um, our academy has got a number of uh, training courses. Our plasma training course has been rated as one of the best courses in Australia. We've got so many clients that have already done a course, but they come to us, they say they're not confident, they don't feel they've learned what they should have learned. They come to us and then they just go out to their salons and they just feel super confident to do it. So as Frank has said as well, we, your reputation and the success, successful outcome for your clients, that's our key objective. So we've got some great courses there. Um, if you're interested, let us know, but we're not gonna talk about that today. Um, today we'll talk about cell health and and what's that well, what that's all about but i want to take us back to world war ii now this is not a history lesson but it's important to understand where it all started um world war ii really was the start of mass production it was at that time mass production of weapons and military stuff but after the war we saw that mass production came to every single industry Many years later, we saw breakthroughs in computer science, online capability, and these two advances, mass production on the one, one hand and computerization. So these two, broadly speaking, have caused science and technology to develop more over the last 10 years than the 60 years before, and more in the last two years than the eight years before. We see a rate of change that is ever increasing. Technology has become so sophisticated that it can adapt and evolve literally overnight. We have today a wealth of knowledge and with this has come better practices and better processes for doing almost everything. Now, if the food industry was to take these advances in science and technology to make better quality and healthier food products, it would be fantastic for everyone, everyone's health. But sadly, as we know, this is not the case. The food industry is concerned with how more products could be made faster and cheaper. For them, it's about how technology could be used to mass manufacture, to preserve longer, to fortify, to stabilize, to extend shelf life. And epigenetic research is showing us that herein lies our greatest health challenge. Now let's have a quick look at what we'll be talking about today. We'll tell you more about epigenetics, some of the groundbreaking research in this field and how it's addressing this health challenge that I've just spoken about. We'll talk about our susceptibility to flus and viruses, including the coronavirus, and if anything could be done about this. But more importantly, we'll talk about health at a cellular level because this is where it all starts. Cell health is everything. And if we get this right, we're improving everything from slowing the aging process to having younger looking skin, to reducing inflammation and preventing and reversing many skin diseases. Epigenetics is not something that you put into a topical cream but rather epigenetics study the impact of what we eat and what we do on our DNA and our gene expression. And because of these studies, we now know that there's a direct impact. We can't change the genes we're born with, but we can change the way that they behave, the way that they perform. We can say our genetics load the gun, that's what, we, that's what we're born with, but our lifestyle choices pull the trigger. I'll say this in another way. What we eat and what we do, so our lifestyle choices, have a direct impact on the quality and performance of our bodies at a genetic and a cellular level. And with this obviously goes the risk of things going wrong if we make the wrong lifestyle choices. In our Western culture, 56% of our diet is made up of ultra processed food. And because of epigenetic studies, we now know that this is harmful at a genetic level. This impacts 95% plus of the population, i.e. almost everyone. From elite athletes aiming, to, aiming for faster recovery in training, 
to people suffering from chronic diseases, to everyone in between who, as a minimum, are facing an aging skin problem. Let's look at chronic diseases for a minute. We know that nobody becomes obese or gets cancer or cardiovascular disease or type 2 diabetes overnight. These diseases develop slowly over time. And in the last 40 years, we've seen these diseases become epidemics. The statistics are getting out of hand. And it's not because we're getting better at detecting these, that as well. But the fact is that more people are getting these diseases, but people are also getting them at a younger age. We used to qualify chronic diseases as diseases for older people, but not anymore. It's not uncommon to see people in their mid thirties in a hospital with these diseases. Not only are more people getting sick, but we are getting sick sooner. And this is of huge concern. In Australia alone, the estimated annual spend on diabetes treatment and its complications is a staggering $10 billion, 10 billion. Similarly, our skin is aging beyond our chronological age in large part because of epigenetic factors, our lifestyle choices. And we'll talk about this more. Luckily, epigenetic studies also indicate what happens to us at a genetic level if we do the right things. For instance, if we take vitamin three supplements every day, it has a positive impact on our gene expression and our DNA to defend our bodies against most illnesses. Epigenetic studies are also increasingly pointing to the value of essential polyunsaturated fats, the, the healthy dietary fat in the, in the form of omega-6 and omega-3 fatty acids, and more importantly, the ratio between these. Omega-6 and omega-3 are essential fatty acids. They're not produced by the body, so we have to get them from food or nutrient supplements. So this sounds like an easy, easy fix. Let's get more omegas into our bodies. Well, to complicate things, we've got an issue with omega-3 availability in the Western diet over the last 70 years, really since 1952, the advent of the processed food industry. Omega-3 has become less and less abundant in our diets, and this is directly related to the increase in skin diseases in our society also more serious chronic diseases. Sure, people know about this, they're taking omega-3 supplements, but the problem is that the average fish, fish oil supplement has almost no nutritional value and the dosages are typically incorrect. So even people knowing about the value of omega-3 and taking fish oil supplements find little or no benefit from doing so. And the reason for this is that in the vast majority of cases, the processing of omega-3s into commercially available capsules or tablets or oils undermine the, the nutritional impact of these fat, fatty acids as it does not add what's called polyphenols for protection. Omega-3 fatty acids need polyphenols and they need to be taken in the right quantities to be effective. That's the bottom line. Now you could simply Google polyunsaturated fats with polyphenol nutrients, and you'll get access to scores of medical articles that'll give you an understanding of the importance of this. The poly polyphenols are extremely important, and we typically don't find this in commercially available omega-3 supplements. Not only do the polyphenols act as a chaperone and they protect the omega-3 fatty acid as it's swallowed and digested and taken up by the cells, but this combination of omega-3 with polyphenols serves three very important functions. Firstly, they act as an anti-inflammatory. Secondly, they block pro-inflammatory markers. And then thirdly, they improve the cell quality and the integrity of the cell. So not only is it reducing pre-existing cell inflammation, but it's preventing further inflammation. And all along, it's improving the quality of the cell membrane by making it more permeable. As you can see from the image on your screen, by not taking omega-3s, 
with polyphenol protection, we can unknowingly toxify our cells by allowing the cell membrane to be, become hard and rigid, which means it's not allowing nutrients to get in, it's not allowing the waste products to get out. On the other hand, by taking this, we can invigorate our cells, making the cell membrane soft and permeable, allowing nutrients to get in, allowing waste products to get out. This is where it all starts. Health starts at a cellular level. And if we get this wrong, it's like building our houses on sand. Now, why do we tell you this? It's because medical experts are showing us that these pharma grade supplements are taken by Olympic athletes. It's taken by people with chronic diseases, but it's also what's needed for everyone in between, the rest of the population. This is the more than 95% of the population who are at risk and wanting to stay safe from flus and coronavirus, but also people wanting to have a healthy skin and we'll talk about healthy skin in a minute. What is needed is a product that combines polyunsaturated fats with polyphenols. Remember what we've said before. Not only do the polyphenols act as a chaperone and protect the omega-3 fatty acid as it's swallowed and digested and taken up by the cells, but this combination act as an anti-inflammatory agent. It blocks pro-inflammatory markers and it improves cell quality and cell integrity. It's calming pre-existing inflammation, it's preventing further inflammation, but it's improving cell quality by making the membrane more permeable. This combination, polyunsaturated fats, polyphenols, cause cells to be in better overall condition with reduced inflammation and promoting this ideal ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 fatty acids. Let's look at some of the health stats. More than 95% of people in Western industrialized nations, so that's Australia, Europe, UK, USA, Canada, all of us have got some form of systemic inflammation in our cells because of what we've just described. Our bodies are in a constant state of disease readiness, disease readiness really, which is why we pick up every cold and flu that goes around, which is why stats on autoimmune skin diseases are increasing every year, which is why cancers have gone from one to five, uh, sorry, one in five people that, that used to have this, um, uh, before 1960 to more than 50% for everyone born after 1960. Remember what we said about the processed food industry. Obesity have reached levels of 60% in adults. Type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease, metabolic syndrome, all these chronic diseases are going through the roof. So I'll highlight two reasons here and we'll talk about a third later. Firstly, like we've said, the processed food that we're eating is causing this. Secondly, the supplements that we might be taking are not reaching the target. Why are so many people susceptible to the coronavirus? We know that being obese and having type 2 diabetes makes you more susceptible to COVID-19 and any of the common comorbidities, cancers, cardiovascular disease would make you more susceptible, but why? Because at the root of all these conditions, we've got aspects of inf inflammation and aspects where cell integrity and the quality of the cell is compromised. And the same applies for aging skin and skin diseases. In medical and scientific terms, this ideal ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 refers to the homeostasis or the equilibrium between these fatty acids. The problem we have in our diets in Western countries is that we get loads of omega-6. Now remember, omega-6 as such is not a bad guy. It's also a polyunsaturated dietary fat, but we get way too much of it in our diets. 
medical advice, nutritional advice would be to reduce the intake of omega-6 and in to increase the intake of omega-3. And literature tells us that this ideal ratio is lower than four to one, even three to one or two to one, this ideal ratio of omega-6 to omega-3. To omega Scientific journals have long stated that it is difficult for cancer to grow within the human physiological environment if the ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 is lower than 4 to 1. Some cancers cannot grow in these conditions whatsoever. Now, we would love to say that doing this would make you cancer-proof, but what we can say is that it dramatically reduces anyone's risk to develop these lifestyle-related cancers. Now, similar results are observed with people, for people with cardiovascular disease, type two diabetes. So this ratio is really important. If we get this right, this ratio of omega-6 to omega-3, we make it really hard, if not impossible, for cancer to grow, for chronic disease to be a risk, mm -hmm. and for our immune system to succumb to viruses like the coronavirus. In fact, many studies show the reversibility of these diseases after getting the ratio right. And the same applies to skin diseases. And this is the point, guys. Whether you are an elite athlete wanting to train better and recover faster, whether you're someone struggling and battling with chronic disease, or whether you're anywhere in between, we are all faced, well, 95% of us are faced with aspects of inflammation and aspects of compromised cell quality. So we are all at risk. And I'll highlight the third reason here. Remember we've said processed food is the first reason. The supplements that we might be taking are not reaching the target. That's the second reason. The third reason is that our ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 is typically way off. So at a cellular level, our cells simply aren't able to defend us. We're not giving our bodies a fighting chance because the, the, the omega-6, omega-3 ratio is so far off um, and inflammation is trapped within our cells. Now, when this ratio is tested in Western nations, we see that more than 95% of people have a ratio of between 15 to 1 and 21 to 1. Remember, we want it to be four to one, three to one, two to one. More than 95% of people are five times more, seven times more. In other words, what we're talking about is not only applicable to people who already have got some chronic disease. It applies to more than nine and a half out of 10 people on the street, almost mm -hmm. everyone. The question is not whether we will get some form of disease, but when will we get it? And which one will we get first? As mm. most people tend to develop more than one. And what I'm saying has been confirmed by numerous epidemiolo epidemiolo epidemiological research studies. Looking at this, one might say, okay, obvious solution, take omega-3 supplements. These same clinical tests indicate that even for people taking an omega-3 supplement, their ratio might still be 13 to one. This is because of what we've said earlier, commercially available omega-3 supplements on the market are typically not getting into the cells because they haven't got the polyphenol protection. Let's start talking about skin health more specifically. Now, we know you can tell the quality of a person's cells by looking at their skin. Our skin is the biggest organ in the human body. It's very telling. We also know that the single biggest reason for aging skin is regeneration processes slowing down because of compromised cell health. Because of our omega-6 to omega-3 ratios being way too high, our cells are partially inflamed, if not more, because remember, they can't get rid of the waste products. Our cells renew slower. The quality of new cells are lower than the cells that they're replacing. There are less nutrients being absorbed because the cell membranes are rigid. 
There's less blood flow resulting in poorer quality of collagen fiber strands, reduced skin elasticity. It's a domino effect. It just goes on and on. Turning the aging process around starts at a cellular level. That's where it starts. It doesn't start with the latest topical cream. It starts at a cellular level. Cell health is everything, but there's so much more. Once we start talking about cell health and reduced inflammation, we're talking about weight loss. We're talking about healthier hair, healthier organs, better sleep, healthier babies, children with higher IQs, improved mental health. The list goes on. There are so many, so many medical studies on the health benefits of having the correct omega-6 to omega-3 ratio. So the question is, how do we do it? Well, we'll come back to this question, but before we do, I'm going to ask Dr. Elna to talk us through the role of inflammation when it comes to skin diseases. And she'll also talk about some medical research on specific skin diseases. Elna, over to you. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Tyson. Thanks, Frank, for the lovely introduction earlier. So I'm going to talk a little bit about um, the effect of inflammation on skin diseases and, and really what, what happens um, with our bodies when we have this constant inflammatory process going on. So the inflammatory cascade can really be divided into two sections, acute and chronic. We all know acute is usually of short duration when we have trauma to our skin or a cut, but it usually resolves as soon as we remove the causative factor, but chronic inflammation is not good. It usually starts with acute inflammation, but then it develops into like a pre-inflammatory state followed by a disease state and where, these, the, where the inflammation really smolders and it goes on for years and years and years. And several inflammatory markers, for example, the interleukins, I'm sure you've heard of them, or an even tumor necrosis factor, that um, they released and they cause a slow destruction of tissue in the entire body. And that results in degenerative diseases over time. So we only really notice the inflammation once there are obvious symptoms. So the inflammation goes on for a number of years and then we start, we develop some form of skin disease maybe, and we then uh, go to the doctor and we get prescribed a drug. But what does the drug do? The drug treats the symptoms. It doesn't treat the underlying cause of the disease. And in most cases, all the symptoms have a common cause at the which is chronic inflammation. And chronic inflammation is really the main cause of age-related illnesses, and it is also associated with faster aging. Skin wrinkling is largely driven by chronic inflammation, which is driven by our lifestyle and diet. And Tais has, has, has discussed the effect of our Western diet um, on our skin health as well and cellular health. So when we stop this chronic inflammation, a lot of those superficial signs of aging will then disappear or going to reverse as this tissue then starts to naturally heal itself. But when we do this, we move from the fast lane of aging into the slow lane where signs of aging are postponed and we age a lot slower. So just a couple of diseases that's inflammatory related and I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen that in your clinics. One um, that comes to mind is atopic dermatitis, and it's also referred to as eczema. So um, eczema is a condition that makes your skin red and itchy. It's very common in children. I'm sure you have seen kids that, that really, that, that it's very itchy and they scratch, and they scratch to some ex so, such an extent that it sometimes bleeds. However, it can occur at any age, and especially in people with a family history of atopic dermatitis or eczema. 
And it's a long lasting chronic inflammation of the skin and it flares periodically. Sometimes it gets triggered by um, changes in the weather, but it's really devastating for those patients, specifically for kids as well. The skin barrier is compromised when we have um, an eczema diagnosis. The main symptom is of course the rash that appears and it's usually on the arms and behind the knees but it can really appear anywhere, um, even you know, on the face. And I think that's where you guys must have seen that. And what do we always pres get prescribed? Corticosteroid mm. creams to treat mm. what again, the symptoms, but we don't treat the cause of the disease, the chronic inflammation. But if we have the correct balance of omega-3 and 6 in our bodies, that has been proven to reduce the inflammation and improve our symptoms in patients with atopic dermatitis. Now, this is an example of a patient that used a, a product with omega-6, uh, uh, the correct omega-6-3 ratio. And after six weeks, this was the improvement. Now, to me, that looks quite remarkable. And mm. I think that is actually better than what some patients would say um, after a cortisone cream. And just remember, cortisone cream doesn't come without side effects. It's got um, systemic side effects because there is absorption through the skin. The other one is psoriasis. And once again, I'm sure you've seen patients with this. This is a good example of a skin condition that really progress over time. People start with small patches like you can see there on the arm. And then over time it grows and it's because of that chronic inflammation that's just steaming inside the body and it gets worse over time. So rice is actually an autoimmune disease and it's got this thick patchy skin with rashes and scales and the most common form is called plaque psoriasis. But it's really caused by a problem with our immune system and our body's ability to defend against germs. If you've got psoriasis, your immune system mistakenly attacks your healthy cells and it thinks, oh, I need to fight infection. So your body responds by making new skin cells. And you guys might, might know that usually um, skin regenerates over a period of four weeks. But now when you've got psoriasis and your body thinks, I need to attack this bacteria, it, um, it makes new skin cells every couple of days. And those new skin cells then build up over time on your body's surface and it forms this rash and this thick scaly patch. And once again, the doctors prescribe cortisone creams to treat the topical symptoms, but not the cause of the disease. And there's been research on um, omega-3s that actually improves the signs and symptoms of psoriasis. There was a comprehensive review of scientific studies that was published in the Journal of the American Ad Academy of Dermatology. And that is a very reputable journal. And that showed that omega-3 improved people's psoriasis symptoms in 12 out of the 15 trials they reviewed. And the benefits included improvements in the skin redness the itching, the scaling, and the inflammation. And the researchers also suggested that omega-3 was most effective if it was taken for at least three months or longer. So along with our external symptoms, omega-3 can help with the long-term health risks because a lot of people with psoriasis, they do develop cardiovascular diseases. And our omega-3s can also reduce our risk of cardiac health and heart disease. And patients with psoriasis, I've worked with them before, they, um, the impact of psoriasis on, psoriasis on their quality of life is significant. People literally sometimes can't leave the house um, and they can't wear anything with a short sleeve because they are just at risk of being exposed to, um, to, to other people going, oh my goodness, what horrible disease does this person have? So this is an example of a patient that used an omega-6-3 um, product with after five weeks and look at that improvement. I think once again, that's amazing. And I don't even want to think of how, how much better that person felt after 
treatment. And then rosacea. So rosacea is something that's very common in middle-aged women, specifically with fair skin. I am sure you see this a lot of times in your clinics. It's also a chronic inflammatory skin condition. It affects up to 15% of the population. It's that red, often um, it's like little, got little bumps as well on the skin and usually quite a bit of um, blood vessels that's visible. And like I said, it commonly affects middle-aged women with fair skin. And sometimes people think it's, it's acne <clears throat> or some other skin condition. And it gets treated usually with antibiotics, either topical or systemic. And then of course, anti-acne medication. And it can reduce the symptoms, but once again, it doesn't treat the cause. It really worsens over time if you don't treat it. And once again, rosacea has been linked to a dysregulation of our immune system and causing that chronic inflammation. And if we look at the clinical trials they, 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 that they've conducted with omega-6-3, um, they said that following dietary intervention, the patients achieve, achieve significant improvements in their symptoms compared with a placebo product. And that happened over a period of six months. So when we look at skin aging, and I'm sure we're all interested in keeping our skins um, nice and healthy over time as we age, chronic inflammation is actually a major cause of skin aging. The skin aging process has got two components. There's intrinsic and extrinsic. And intrinsic aging is our normal process that we go through with natural aging. But extrinsic aging, that is due to all the external factors that we expose our skin to, which includes sun, diet, and lifestyle. Extrinsically aged skin is usually rough and wrinkled. I'm sure we've seen a lot of those people and specifically living in a country like Australia, the sun is quite harsh. And that accounts, those extrinsic factors accounts for about 80% of the overall aging process. Um, the intrinsic aging is exacerbated today by our extrinsic factors and particularly, once again, chronic inflammation. The extracellular matrix of our skin is made up of different fiber types to hold all these cells together. And the health of this matrix really determines our skin's elasticity, smoothness, and also the ability to, to retain moisture. And we all know how horrible it is to have dry skin. So in other words, the quality of our matrix really determines our skin aging. The matrix is constantly being broken down and replaced. Remember I said over a period of four weeks, skin really regenerates um, in, uh, in normal skin. But when this process is in balance, the visual age of the skin doesn't change because it, it happens naturally. But when the breakdown starts to accelerate as we have chronic inflammation, there is a slow erosion of that matrix over time. And then our skin becomes thin, we lose elasticity, and it also becomes dry. So in short, the skin ages more rapidly than it should if there is inflammation. But a diet with low omega-6-3 ratio and high levels of polyphenols, which is what Tays talked about as well, that reduces our inflammation and reduces our skin aging process. There was a study done um, with, uh, in patients with the correct balance of omega-6-3 and polyphenols. And those participants actually demonstrated a 28% increase in their skin elasticity in only 60 days. And this is an example of a patient after three weeks of using the omega-6 ratio oil to, that increased her elasticity and that sleep fold under her eye disappeared. Thank you, um, Alma. Thanks for that. That was a great overview of the role of inflammation and looking at those specific diseases. Uh, thanks for that. So another big marker is the difference between our chronological and biological age. A 
Our chronological age, as you know, is based on the year we were born on planet Earth, and you might be 35, but your lifestyle and nutritional choices determine your biological age. What you've been eating, whether you've smoked or not, how much you've been drinking, what exercise you have or haven't done, and these things stack up. So when we're seeing a 35-year-old person in a hospital's cardiac ward, biologically, they might be late 60s or 70s. As I've said before, younger people are getting older people's diseases because their cells have aged rapidly and far beyond their chronological age. Cell health is everything, but it can be influenced. The impact of lifestyle choices on our biological age and what we've just spoken about, younger people getting chronic diseases, these things are picked up by epigenetic studies simply because it's easy to see these trends in hospitals. But the important point is that the same applies to our skin health, like Elnas just uh, indicated as well. The condition of our skin and the biological age of our skin of our skin is determined by the health of our bodies at a cellular level. Now, nutritionists are spending their lives trying to convince people to change their diets, to eat fatty fish two, three times a week, to eat walnuts, cashew nuts, chia seeds, flax seeds, more raw fruit, vegetables. But for most people, access to wild Alaskan salmon and organic and freshly harvested fruit and veggies are either not readily available or simply too expensive. Or maybe you eat a lot of salmon and you think you're taking in a lot of omega-3s, not knowing that salmon coming from salmon farms have been fed on food containing corn oil, which is rich and mostly containing omega-6. Or you're taking fish oil supplements without knowing and it's making little or no difference. So the question remains, how do we solve this problem? Well, I think what's clear is that what's needed is an industry-wide duty of care for pharmaceutical companies to use their resources to develop an intelligent product to provide a solution to this systemic health problem that's facing the Western world. We need a solution with no side effects. Um, Elna has spoken about the side effects of products addressing the symptoms. What we need here for this systemic problem is a solution with no side effects that address this genuine need. A, a, a scientific way of getting the vital amounts of omega-3s, not only into our diets, but into our cells and in the correct ratio. While there is a solution to this problem, it's an intelligent and sophisticated omega-3 supplement. As I've mentioned, the solution is being prescribed not only to Olympic athletes because they want to stay healthy and recover quicker from training so they can train more and perform better. On the other side of the scale, of the scale it's not only um, uh, it's, it's, it's also prescribed to people suffering from uh, chronic diseases because they want to reduce inflammation at a cellular level and reverse those chronic symptoms. But it's also being prescribed through beauty salons in Europe and the UK at the moment because they see the difference and what it, difference that it makes to the skin health of their clients. Now, the solution that I'm referring to starts with a dry blood spot test. It's through a home test kit. It's sent to a lab in Norway to, for analysis. And by the way, this dry blood spot test process is very well known. It's standard for, taste, for testing of HIV and, and hepatitis C. The test results tell you what your blood lipid profile is with regards to omega-6, omega-3 ratio with regards to the protection that you can expect from your cells. The next step then is to start taking this intelligent and sophisticated omega-3 supplement for a period of four months because that's how long it takes to turn the, this big ship around, at which point you can repeat the test. 
and how much you need to take is based on your body mass. So just a few things that I'm going to point out here. Firstly, we can only attempt to change what we've measured. So therefore we start with an initial blood spot test. Secondly, we can only measure the change with subsequent data. That's why we do a retest four months later. Prescribing a standard dosage for adults is very inefficient. Therefore, the dosage that we're talking about is per body mass. And by the way, these labs that do the testing have run more than 500,000 tests to date. So they've got a very compelling and comprehensive research protocol behind this. Well, I've described this process, but to be honest, you don't need to do the blood test if you don't want to. If you're not interested in knowing the level of inflammation in your cells at the moment, let's say you assume you're inflamed and that's okay, you, can, you don't need to do the test. You can only start taking the products. Uh, it's a cheaper solution, I guess, um, but there are tests available to show you exactly what the situation is before and after. So, if we're not talking about changing someone's diet, how does this so-called sophisticated and intelligent omega-3 supplement know what your current diet is, what your current ratio is, how much to adjust the levels to get you to this ideal ratio? Well, the answer is that what happens at a cellular level has got everything to do with the availability of omega-3 with polyphenols and very little to do with how much omega-6 you've actually eaten. Omega-6 and omega-3 fight for the same enzymes in the cells to do their job. And once you've got a certain ratio of omega-3 omega per body mass, the omega-3s take charge. The three in omega-3 refers to its position in the chemical structure. It is three carbon atoms from the end of the molecular chain. So it goes to work first for the omega-6s. So it doesn't matter how many of the omega-6s are running around, as long as the omega-3s have enough of their own crew uh, in your cells, the optimal balance will be restored. That is, having a quality omega-3 that's combined with a polyphenol for protection as a chaperone to get into your cells, improve the quality of the cells to such an extent that the permeability improves the cell membrane they can absorb the nutrients and then having this in the correct dosage per body mass to have your ratio restored. That's the process that needs to take place. We know that no matter how, how hard the push for nutritionists, people find it hard to add enough omega-3s into their diets um, just by making lifestyle changes by themselves. Health conscious people, portion of society are taking fish oil supplements, but as we've explained, these omega-3 fish oil supplements are typically not containing, they're not combined with polyphenols, the nutrients are typically not absorbed, the, the molecule breaks down, the dosages aren't accurate, uh, adequate, it doesn't reach the cell, so the process is flawed and does not work and makes very little difference. So clearly what's needed is an, like I've said, intelligent omega-3 supplement with polyphenols that will be able to get into your cells, improve the quality of the cell membrane, absorb the nutrients, get rid of the waste products, restore the ratio, and put you on the path to new health starting at a cellular level. Okay, I've spoken a lot. Let's recap. People today are ready to listen to their own blood tests, to those results, test results. They're willing to do something to safeguard them against chronic diseases and viruses. But more than that, to restore great skin health and to slow the aging process. The good news is that there is a solution to the health problems and the aging problems we're facing. Now, if you're interested in the solution, let us know. It's a solution where the dosage is based on your body weight, which, which gives you a far more accurate and realistic daily intake. It's a solution where there's a sufficient presence of omega-3 fatty acids with polyphenol protection to get into your cells, to dominate, to do its job within the cells, regardless of how much omega-6 you've eaten. Again, 
I'd encourage you to Google this combination, polyunsaturated fats with polyphenols. See what the medical and nutritional experts from all over the world are saying about this. Now, we don't, I'm not gonna push a, a product here. This is all about sharing information, but the product I'm talking about is essentially an uber sophisticated, intelligent omega-3 supplement with polyphenols. It also contains omega-9s, vitamin 3s. It's available in a vegan, vegan option, harvested from sea algae rather than fish. Now, most of you have got beauty businesses. You work with customers whose skin health and overall health are important to them and to you. So, um, I mean, if that's not enough, you might just be interested in slowing down the aging process for yourself. Well, whichever way, if you're interested in knowing more and what you could be doing to get to this point, let Frank know, let his team know, and we will follow up with a separate conversation. So this is about sharing the information, explaining to you what the problem is, that there is a solution available, that it has been, that is being prescribed and really makes a difference, like, uh, like some of those slides that you're seeing. Um, if you're interested, let Frank and his team know, and we'll, we'll follow up with, with another con conversation. So I want to thank you for your time at this point and open up the, the floor for questions. Thank you, Thais. Uh, that's uh, fascinating, the world of the omega-3. My mother, if, if anyone here uh, had uh, participated in one of Jacqueline's presentation when she trained beauty therapists, she always started talking about the cold-pressed oils and the importance, the important role they had uh, but you've brought in a new top, a new element to the cold pressed oils, because um, you talked about flaxseed, for example, which is rich in omega three. But you're talking about the polyphenols, which help the uh, uh, assimilation, I guess, uh, of the nutrients to the cells. Is that right? Yeah, correct. Correct. The polyphenol um, plays a, a huge role, doesn't it? Plays a huge role because typically yeah. it's being left out and the process is flawed if, if mm. that critical component is not in there. Yeah. yeah. Well, look, I, I, I have been uh, uh, taking the um, Zenzina oil for, for about a month now since we first met. And uh, this is a true story. I, I play tennis about two or three times a week. And uh, I haven't been able to serve, you know, because the, the arm goes up and it's a different movement. Um, and for the last week, I, I've been serving without any, any, any pain here. And I'm sure it's linked with, you know, the, the small inflammations. Uh, and I would consider myself to, to have a fairly well-balanced diet um, already, but this, this soil is absolutely incredible. Um, so, uh, you know, if, if, if any of you want to find out more about this, or so we'll put some details, I can see a lot of heads going, yes, uh, it, it is uh, truly um, a miracle product, and it's a very high quality grade product, so, um, yeah, I'd be, I'd be thrilled to, to introduce it to, to everybody here, and, and to link it with your knowledge uh, so that we have a full understanding and how to recommend it to, to the, the people who are suffering from eczema and psoriasis and, and the horrible things that they're putting on their skin to stop it, which attacks the liver, has a, a far, far worse um, effect on, on, on the overall health. Uh, this is a, a solution that doesn't just um, touch your, your whatever information you may have, but your overall health uh, condition altogether. The energy level goes up, the, the focus, as you said, you know, because it, it also affects the brain and, uh, um, and you know, uh, dementia is, is something that is happening also, you know, you were talking about chronic diseases that were occurring earlier and earlier, and so is dementia. It's, uh, 
Um, yeah, Frank, on that point, um, you know what, there's a, that's a whole different um, discussion, actually, the yeah. benefit of um, omega-6-3 balance on yeah. our mental health. Yeah. And I agree with you, the, 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 the numbers that they're talking about on how dementia is going to increase over the next couple of decades um, is, is actually quite remarkable. And it's not, yeah. not a, a disease that you want to have one day, definitely not. And the other thing is just on the on the results, specifically those photos that we showed. When I when I think of psoriasis, I've been working in the dermatology space for a while, and you talk about patients getting biologics with a number of side effects. The cost of those is more than a thousand dollars a month. Um, if you even if you get it reimbursed um, by yeah. the PDF. There's still a cost to government, yeah. but the results that you're getting with a biologic is sometimes not even as good as what those um, those patients have achieved yeah. with something without any side effects. So mm -hmm. I think it's yeah. absolutely remarkable. It is. It is. So uh, what we'll do is we'll we'll uh, put a post on our closed Facebook group with all the details about the product, uh, the price, uh, how to get it, uh, uh, etc. Uh, so you'll be able, I, I, I mean, I know you mentioned the blood test, whether you, you should or not. I think you should definitely do the blood test. Uh, uh, even if you think your, your uh, omega-6 levels are high, you should definitely see the blood test because then you can compare it, uh, as you said, four months down the track. Uh, I've done my blood test. I haven't received the... The, the results as yet, but uh, I'll, I'll share be my results. Be prepared to be amazed because I did mine and I thought, oh, I'm a healthy individual. Oh, yeah, I, if I eat yeah. healthy, I was yeah. shocked. So. <laughs> uh, 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 oh, okay. Well, I'll share my results with everybody. I, I feel like, you know, uh, I've, I've been blessed with my mother uh, hammering in my head, uh, uh, always eat the cold pressed oil. Always. Uh, uh, and I know I can see Marie laughing because I know she's probably heard her say it to her. And, and so uh, I, I will be very interested to see what my results are. <clears throat> and as I say, I will share it. Um, and uh, then we'll see what, what, what happens four months down the track. Um, but definitely everybody should uh, give these, these a go. And, and see, we can see, we can meet again. How about we all meet again in four months, uh, approximately? <laughs> and then we'll, we'll, we'll sort of discuss about these results. But hey guys, thank you so much. I really uh, found your presentation really interesting, so well presented, and uh, I, I appreciate the effort and time that you've, you've put into this. Uh, um, so thank you very, very much. Now, uh, uh, I'm seeing a lot of people saying, yes, uh, we're, we're interested to, to find out more. So don't worry, we'll get the information to you. Um, uh, somebody else would like to stock it even, um, more information. Uh, yeah, the product is called Zinzino. Um, uh, so so we'll, we'll, we'll put it all up on our Facebook group. This recording will also go up on our Facebook group and uh, all, all your answers will be answered uh, uh, later on this afternoon or early tomorrow, all right? Um, thank you all for joining us. So remember, every first Monday of each month, we have a, a, a wonderful meeting like this one where we share some, some ideas and, and, and learn uh, new things. And um, it's always a, a wonderful thing to, to do and experience. Thank you again. Uh, take care, everybody, and I'll, I'll speak to you soon.